Hello YouTube, this is Dr. Dare to be Creative and I am here with a project share. I am in the mood of building my stash. I was watching uh, O'Donnell and she was showing her uh, EK tool. I purchased a couple years ago. Um, she she used this to make some paper ribbons. I bought it from Joann's. One of my Joann's was remodeling and I bought it and I bought a pack of these um, and I made some out of paper and out of ribbon before. Um, but the neat thing about these, and Tuesday morning has them right now, of course, with EK Tools. They've been out since January, um, and they had them for the February sale. But these are a really quick way to build your stash. You can make these while you're watching TV. It's easy, just 15 wraps around, and just stick the bread through, fold it down, and boom. You got a gift, you know. Um, and it says you can make it out of crepe paper, excuse me, craft paper, magazine, newsprint, book pages, sheet music, tissue paper, crepe paper, polypropylene, gross grain, organza, felt, muslin, cotton, burlap, satin, lace, silk, and non-woven. So you can use your fabric strips. You can use all kinds of scraps. Um, I haven't tried all of those. I've only done ribbon, paper, and it was another one I did. It was a sheet music and I think I did tissue paper. I haven't done all the rest of those, so you can make them like anything. This is a discontinued project product, excuse me. So I'm trying to find some more of these. Um, but you can use breads if you have a long bread. Now I, I make some with like this, these are made out of this a small bread, and you can get away with some of the medium ones with small bread. This type of um this satin, not satin, but this organza ribbon is easy to get through with a, a regular size bread. I have some long ones. <laughs> I moved them. I gotta go find them. I don't know where I put them. Um, I know I took the container I had them in and put them in something else because I needed that container. I'm trying to remember what container I switched it to. So, um, but I'm just saying, I was building my stash and I thought this was a quick way. I have a ton of Dollar Tree ribbon and all this is made with Dollar Tree ribbon. And it's a great way to use it up. You can get, you know, two small ones off a roll of most of the three yard ones in the, in the Dollar Tree. Some of the Dollar Tree ribbon are five and seven yards, but most are three. So if it's three, you can get two smalls or one medium or one large. Um, but anyway, I'm just going to do my quick project here. I'm going to wrap these up in some bags. Probably, I'm going to have to use a gusseted bag because the, the dimensionality of it, you can't, it's, it's hard to get them, even with these bags. Um, which I don't like the way they fit in there, but you need the space because they, they get flat. So whatever the person, the recipient gives me, they just got fluff them up with their hands. Um, but you do need to have a little bit of gusseted space. You can get it in some of the other ones, but it's going to be very tight and you're going to be squishing it up. So just be mindful of that. So I just got some Dollar Tree gusseted like candy bags, but I'm going to make some toppers and put them in there. So I'm just going to show you real quick. Um, some of the ones that I made while well, I was just sitting around watching YouTube videos. Like I said, this is a quick way to build your stash. You don't really have to think. You don't have to do any decorations. You just make it, boom, and go. Um, so this is the first one. And this is all metallic paper, so it is a little um, shimmery. So it's two smalls. No, it's, yeah, two smalls, and this is four. Um, and I use my own breads in these, and these are the um, organza ribbon. Then these two, I just got a, this is another small glittery gold. I just got to um, cut out a piece of paper to put it in. And this is um, camouflage. I think I'm going to make a coordinating black and tan, uh, either one black and tan or, or both to go with this one to make a set. Um, and this one I might just keep, I don't know. So this one, and they've been sitting on top of each other, so I just have to fluff them up. But anyway, these are two right here. These both have the zebra print. And all of them, I just put different color papers on the back. Um, so some of them have craft, but some of them have decorative papers and stuff. So anyway, so this is another small set. And this has the gold in it. And then this, the blue. And I think um, Bona, she did a video maybe, maybe like two years ago, and she put some gorgeous girls, and she squish the middle down and put them in there so you can put centerpieces in here as well I just didn't I just wanted some quick um, building my stash but you can do that as well so here I have a large and two smalls and again the recipient recipient can use these to attach to 
um, any kind of gift wrapping, anything they want to gift wrap. Um, you could even put it on a treat bag. So this one says love on it. And so these are all red. You know. And, um, and then this one, these three. I just put that on the back. And these both um, have hearts, three hearts on it. And then, and this paper is Amy Tangerine, um, and that's a large and a medium. Let me show you the paper page just in case you're wondering. Amy Tangerine, The Sweet Life. I've shown that before. Um, anyway, so I just got to get them in the bag, get some toppers on them, um, and have those ready to go um, in a pinch as a nice little giveaway. So, um, just want to mention that, you know, if you need a tutorial or anything, let me know, but I'm going to make some with paper and I'm going to look for those extra little breads if I can find some of those and my long ones or get some more long ones. But these are just a quick, easy way to use up your ribbon because most of us buy ribbon like we buy washi and we don't use it quite as much. I know I'm not the only one guilty, but I thought it was just a neat way to use some of it up and give it to somebody because everybody has a gift they got to give at some point to somebody for some kind of occasion or a holiday or something. So we can always use some bows to stick on and um, boom, we got a quick flare to, um, to our gift. Excuse me. And I do have a little bit of leftover ribbon. I'm thinking about maybe making some tassel, coordinating tassels or um, the hand bow loop bows to go along with these and maybe even add them to the sets as giveaways as well but if I do I'll come up with another video with that but anyway I dare you to make you some so um thanks for liking watching and subscribing and I dare you to be creative take care god bless bye bye